New at 6, a local man is accused of trying to kill his girlfriend and her child. One of the charges is battery of a pregnant woman, which was actually challenged at his first court appearance. Well, she's Dave McDaniel looks at the case and what could possibly happen next. Four charges, attempted homicide, aggravated battery on a pregnant person, attempted homicide, and battery on a child by throwing fluids. A list of charges for 36-year-old John Washington following an alleged attack Monday afternoon. A woman claiming her boyfriend, Washington, punched her several times in the face with a closed fist and kicked her all over her body. And that Washington also went after her child, saying Washington violently threw the child against the wall. The report indicates the victim in this case was six months pregnant, and a charge on the report indicates aggravated battery of a pregnant person, a charge that was challenged in court. Uh, affidavit states that she was 24 weeks pregnant at the beginning, just that as a fact, but doesn't indicate it, that he knew that she's 24 weeks pregnant or even if that she looked pregnant. The state pushed back. Your Honor, she's 24 weeks pregnant and they live together. I find it hard to believe that he did not know or should have known. The judge eventually saying there wasn't enough to move forward with that charge. Usually the only time I see uh, that charge challenged is if it's um, the battery occurs by someone that the, the pregnant person didn't know, say it's a fight in the street or something like that. Local attorney Richard Hornsby doesn't recall a legal challenge to pregnancy in a domestic violence allegation. He says the state can go back to the judge. They can come back before the court and say, Judge, here's an affidavit saying that um, not, not only is she pregnant, but that she had told him that, that she was pregnant. The report says Washington's daughter was killed two years ago, and during the alleged attack, the report says Washington said, no one cared when my daughter died, so now I don't care. The victim told police Washington had not slept in days and had a seizure after the alleged attack. An officer wrote Washington could not tell me what happened at the apartment because he did not remember. In Orlando, Dave McDaniel, West 2 News.